So there was a new sword called Moonweaver's Dawn, which basically gives 48% Q damage at R1 for characters with burst cost 40 or below. In case you don't know, I main Kaching and coincidentally, her burst cost is exactly 40. We would hence naturally deduce that this new weapon might be good for her. Indeed, it is an amazing weapon, especially as you can get it for free through a world quest, and personally, I have used around 3-4 to four hours to finish all the quests involved for this. From this, you might wonder if Lion's Roar is still very good in the batch of 4 star swords for her, or maybe just simply how much of an increase of damage Moonweaver brings. To put it very simple, R5 Moonweaver is somewhere around R4-5 to five Lion's Roar, while R1 Moonweaver is around the same as r Lion's Roar, assuming you have Electra applied throughout the rotation. That's it, you can click off now. If you didn't click off, I'll assume that you're curious as to why Moonweaver does not provide as much as the 48% figure suggests. To the untrained eye, this might seem like a calculation mistake by me, as how on earth does 48% Q damage buff at R1 and a whopping 96% at R5 make such a small difference? Actually, the reason lies in none other than the elementary math. To continue the discussion on deducing the ranking of the weapons, I'll first assume you have an elementary school level of math proficiency. That is, you have no problem understanding percentages and division. However, judging from the current state of Genshin players, I can't be sure that's why I had to clarify. To convince you that I know what I'm doing and that I don't suck at using spreadsheets for calculations that much, I'll provide some figures for your reference. In case you didn't know, if the attribute scalings in the talent page did not specify what stat it's based on, it's defaultly set to attack. So, Ge Cheng's first NA hit does 81.09% attack as base damage, charge attack is 331.81%, E is 393.12%, and Q is 843.84%. In a typical Kaching aggravate rotation, she usually deals 3200% attack as damage, depending on her constellations. A conservative guess would be that her Q is around 30% of her total damage per rotation. Hence, the 48% buff would actually just be a 14.4% increase, while the passive of R1 Lion's Roar on 40 of Kaching is a 12.3% increase. However, Lion's Roar's passive also applies to aggravate bonus damage. This shows that these two weapons are very close, although hugely depending on attack on your artifacts. However, this is not the end of the story. Moonweaver has a higher base attack, so if you're using attack sands, you'll benefit more from Moonweaver, while if you're using EM sands, the increase in base attack would not matter that much, and the higher attack percent from Lion's Roar will be more useful. You can see that both R1 swords are extremely similar in damage increase, and that's artifact quality, team composition, and playstyle would hugely affect the difference between these two weapons. In fact, I have tested with other people's builds, which suggested that Moonweaver is closer to or even better than Lion's Roar in some cases. There is also the extra factor of accessibility. Lion's Roar is obtained through Gacha, which means that luck is involved, while Moonweaver is guaranteed. Therefore, I would like to bring out my main point which I hope could be the main takeaway from this video. The effect of buffs on your damage is hugely dependent on your team and your current build. Maybe R1 Lion's Roar will be worse than R1 Moonweaver in some niche teams, and if you just listen to people on the internet hyping up either weapon without much consideration, it is less likely that you'll get the optimized or desired results. This does not imply that 100% of the time what I've claimed will be true, I have actually run through calculations for R1 and R5 for both swords and have run similar ones whenever I like to present concrete data. I have just simply ran them on my build and that your build might favor Moonweaver than Lion's Roar and vice versa. What you should think is how much attack percent you have on your artifacts, what buffs you get from teammates and choose accordingly. So to summarize, R5 Lion's Roar is the safest option and if you only have R1 or just started the game, Moonweaver is also completely reasonable to go for as a very decent starter slash FTP option. The more attack percent you have on your artifacts, the better Moonweaver would be. However, as I said, that's just conclusions from my own build. If you want to completely optimize your build, maybe make a spreadsheet. 